Now when you start using advanced charts, you will actually um, have a range of different views that you can create. So you can see on this drop down menu at the top here, you can see we've got a number of different charts populated in here already and ones that I've created. But if you want to look at a different view in the market, you can see that it's just a question of selecting it and then either cursoring up or down or selecting it straight from the drop down menu. So there are many ways that you can look at the market. We allow you to modify pretty much everything to do with the charting and also um, you can select and switch between these with just a little click of the mouse. So you can see we've got loads of different types of charts available for us in here. And you can modify these at will and call them whatever you want and you can get them to update at different time frames, different rates, um, have more than one window. You can actually split it so there are four charts on the same pane if you wish to. And also um, if we pin that we can actually bring up Oops, let's click on the right icon. We can actually bring up additional charts on different runners or even on different races if you've got them loaded into Guardian. And again, you can pin that and store that somewhere on the screen and save that as your layout. And you can overlap them if you want as well. It's entirely up to you how you wish to do that. So, you know, if we had a very large display or a separate monitor or you wanted to use a different screen, or, you know, there's it's pretty much unlimited flexibility. But we could decide to have one type of chart up here and then perhaps one below it. And then we can actually go into that and save that screen layout as Peter's amazing charts or something like that. And again, you know, if you want to skip between those, you can just select it from the drop down menu. So you can see we're going back to conventional charts there or if we want to go to my amazing charts then you can see it will populate it from there and if you wanted to you could actually do that on the same runner as well so we could have one type of chart running on one runner and then on the same runner having another set of charts uh, deriving information all from the same one but they're all designed there to increase your capacity to spot price trends and information that's going on um, so yeah definitely have a play with advanced charts but I suggest that you mess around with it, you copy or inherit an existing chart and save it as a new one so that you can mess around with the indicators, but also watch the video specifically on advanced charts. But they're there to help guide you in terms of price direction and what sort of trade you should do.